I've been riding the Orbia Rise M20 for a few weeks now, and it's been a solid experience. First off, the bike feels light, thanks to the carbon frame. It's easy to handle on the trails. The suspension, with 140 millimeters of travel, keeps the ride smooth, even when the terrain gets bumpy. The motor is what stands out the most. It doesn't feel too powerful or jerky, just enough to help you out, especially when you're pedaling at a good rhythm. It makes climbing easier without taking away the feeling of actually riding. If you need to go farther, you can add an extra battery, which is handy. The Shimano gears shift well and give you plenty of options for climbing or speeding down hills. The dropper post is easy to adjust when you're switching between going up and down, and the brakes work great, even on tricky sections. Overall, the Orbia Rise M20 is a good mix of an electric boost and a normal mountain bike. It's light, rides smoothly, and makes long or tough rides a lot more enjoyable. The bike handles well on both climbs and descents, and the suspension smooths the bumps well. It's easy to control, even on rough trails, which makes it feel safe and comfortable. One of the things I've noticed is how well it fits me. The proportional response design seems to work. I don't feel like I'm struggling with the bike, and it feels balanced in turns. Whether I'm going uphill or downhill, the bike stays steady and handles the terrain well. The motor is strong, and the battery lasts long enough for my usual rides. I haven't worried about running out of power, even on longer trips. The bike also has a sensor that tracks my rides, which is a nice feature, though I don't rely on it too much. Overall, the Motera Neo Carbon 2 has been a good trail companion. It's easy to ride, and I've enjoyed taking it out on different types of terrain. I've been riding the Giant Trance XE Plus Pro 29 for a bit now, and honestly, it's made my trail rides a lot easier and way more fun. The motor gives you plenty of power, especially when you're going uphill, but it's not jerky or anything. It's smooth. The cool thing is, you can change how much help you get, so if you want to take it easy or get more of a workout, it's totally up to you. Plus, using the Giant app to adjust it is pretty straightforward. The suspension on this bike handles rough trails super well. You've got 140 millimeters in the back and 150 millimeters in the front, so it's great at rolling over rocks and roots. The big 29-inch wheels also help. They make the ride feel stable, even on tricky climbs or steep downhill sections. I felt way more confident on parts of the trail that used to give me trouble. Something I didn't think I'd use much, but ended up liking, is the adjustable frame. You can switch between two settings, depending on the kind of trail you're riding. I tried both settings, one for faster, open trails, and the other for more technical, tight sections. It made a big difference in how the bike was handled. This bike's been awesome for making my rides longer and smoother. If you're looking to tackle tougher trails but don't want to feel wiped out, this one's a great option. I've been riding the Trek Rail 9.7 and it's been a great experience. The motor with its big 750WH battery helps on climbs, letting me focus more on the descents. The bike feels stable on rough trails thanks to its longer frame, which made me feel more confident handling tougher terrain. The suspension is solid with the RockShoke's fork and rear shock absorbing bumps nicely. The Shimano drivetrain shifts smoothly, and the Bosch Smart System connects easily to my phone, so I could check my ride details. The Walk Assist feature also came in handy when I needed to push the bike uphill. One of my favorite features is how the battery fits into the frame. It's hidden well, but easy to remove when needed. The overall build feels strong and ready for tough rides without feeling too heavy. If you want an electric mountain bike that's reliable on both climbs and descents, the Trek Rail 9.7 does a great job. It feels sturdy, handles well, and makes long trail days more fun. The Specialized Turbo Levo SL has made my trail rides so much more enjoyable. It feels light and easy to handle, and the motor helps you power through climbs without feeling like it's doing all the work for you. On twisty single track, it's smooth and responsive, making each turn fun without overwhelming you with too much assistance. One of the things I noticed right away is how balanced the bike feels. The bigger front will help keep things stable, while the smaller back will let you move quickly through tight spots. I also like that you can adjust the head tube angle and bottom bracket height, 
so you can make the bike fit the kind of trails you ride. The new motor is really quiet and provides just the right amount of power. The display is easy to read, and you can fine-tune the motor settings to match how much battery you want to use. It's nice to have that control, especially on longer rides. The Turbo Levo SL is a great trail bike. It lets you ride farther without feeling worn out, but still keeps the experience natural and fun. If you want an e-bike that doesn't feel like it's doing all the work, this is a solid choice.